So how I look at it is when, you, when you're coming into this thing, you gotta like really like find out what you really wanna do. And I think attracting a, a community that loves you for you is way more important than, you know, a competitive community. So I, I was scrolling, of course, on YouTube, and there is a very interesting individual named, was it Aiden Ross, right? Mm-hmm. Aiden mm-hmm. Ross, who is number 15 uh, in the Twitch streams, right? Now, the question that I always get is, how do you build a community? How do you build a community? How do you get people to stay with you, be loyal followers, connect with you, and everything like that? And I'm realizing that these Twitch streamers have strong followings, like strong. Not only that, they make a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. Like they can make, I think uh, the individual that we're going to speak of, he makes like two, three million off of streams and brand deals. So, Mm. and now mind you, some people are like two to three mil. That's you guys cover 16, 20, right, right, right. three billion. Listen, this is now more realistic. Okay. Not everybody's going like two, three mil is still a lot just to do streaming. That is yeah. still a good amount of money. Sorry, he's not a Mr. Beast and all the other stuff, but he is in a creator house, for those people who don't know what a creator house is, is literally other creators rented a house and are there just to create content, which I think is really cool, but I don't know if I would do that, but I think it's really cool. But mm-hmm. he says something really dope about building a community that I wanted us to discuss. So let's let's look at it. I'm actually not much of a competitor when it comes to, you know, gaming. I'm more of an entertainer. You know, to me, that's more important because you can establish a bigger community because, you know, you're, you're connecting with them on a family basis. When, you, when you're coming into this thing, you got to, like, really, like, find out what you really want to do. And I think attracting a, a community that loves you for you is way more important than, you know, a competitive community. Mm. Good work. So, Moose. Are we going to see more of you so so we could love you too? No? Okay. Mm. See what I did there? It's a stretch. It's a stretch. <laughs> but uh, let's see. <laughs> nah, I, I, see, I see you doing it though. Like I'm actually seeing a lot more of you, you know what I'm saying, starting to engage, show behind the scenes, actually talk a little bit more. Before it used to be just like real quick snippets. Now it's like, all right, let me... Yeah, come come on this walk with me. You know, like it's it's starting to happen. So I've been seeing your transition, which is dope. I appreciate that. Only only mm-hmm. in stories though. Only in stories. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, what's what's your take on this? Yeah, no, I I mean for one, and I think you're you you opened up with it, the idea of like the whole world of Twitch. Like I'm I'm still often fascinated by how big platforms outside of Instagram and maybe Facebook or Twitter that people are using from time to time that outside of those platforms, there are, there's something like Twitch that is huge mm-hmm. and it has a completely new audience. TikTok, same thing, completely new audience that for a while people didn't pay attention to, but it is in line with people's style. So I think of Twitch as almost like long form content because People on there are gamers, they're streaming for hours at a time and they're able to showcase whatever parts of their personality or talents while they're doing something that has a mutual interest. Right. So the the cool thing about a platform like Twitch and you know, using that to stimulate a community or grow a community is again, one, you're bonding over a common interest, which is typically the game or whatever that case is. And then you're able to, again, still infuse your personality or your talent to get people to build that bond with you, which is almost like a two for one. So really interesting on how that happens. And I think it's a reminder for a lot of us who maybe didn't grow up with either gaming or online gaming at that level, that there is some space for business in there. Because, you know, when you sent the name over, I started kind of looking up, looking more information about him up and it's like, okay, there's a lot of artists, 
that are now utilizing this platform or his platform specifically because they're saying, or he, he recognizes it, if you're someone who's about to release a song, but you haven't been as relevant and my stream is so like popular right now, then it does make sense for you to come on to my stream and maybe talk about your song. So yeah, it gives me credit because now people are starting to see me with a lot of rappers or people in the music industry, but it's helping people in the music industry. So that's crazy where we typically haven't seen stuff like that in the past that there you can gain benefit, although you technically have more influence, right? By getting onto these platforms where there's more eyes because of whatever reason, it could be trust, you know, uh, like, like we said, uh, likes or interests, mutual like and respect. So I'm already there and I'm listening. And then you say, Hey, check this person out. And it's like, okay, I rock with you. So because Nikki said it, I'm definitely going to check this person out because I know, you know, she wouldn't put me on to somebody who whatever is not uh, uh, an expert or a master in their space. So really cool concept, but more specifically, just like the space of Twitch, although it can seem foreign to some really good for others, especially if you rock with that long form content and you're just comfortable building in that space. That's good. That's good. I got a different thought process on this one. Like I love, so from a gaming aspect, of course, some people are going to feel disconnected because it's like, yo, first off, I don't game Two, I'm not competitive. Right. But I, I want to break it down into like a thought process of in his industry, which is normally talking about video games and being competitive in there. Think about your own industry and just you being in your expertise only. Right. And let's say for 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 instance, if I was only to speak about. Instagram. And that was my bread and butter. Right. And I don't necessarily show any type of personality. I don't necessarily talk to the people. You follow me because of the expertise. Now, Instagram goes down. Now, Instagram is not relevant. That means everything about me based on an online situation is done. So that's mm -hmm. how he was looking at it, where it's like, okay, the once the game is over, if I go from a competitive standpoint, then I'm going to take a dip. Like, I got to find another game that I can be super competitive in, and then people rock with me just for that game, and I'll probably have a different community. Nothing's too stable. But with him leading with personality and him being open to how he regularly acts. Now you could look him up. There's some crazy stuff that he says he does not condoning it in any kind of way. But what I'm saying is people love him for him. He even got into a, what was it called? Um, like a pump and dump crypto scheme. Right. One of those tokens that he promoted, he said, yo, this is a good amount of money. I'm going to promote it ends up being a scam. And he could have gotten super canceled and wasn't because of his strong community. So. I look at it like, what are some of the things that we can do to show more of us? to attract people to like us. So whatever happens in our industry, whether the dips or the highs, maybe the mid level, they're still there. And we want to grow community, but are we really making the efforts to grow community? Like posting is not just growing community. Going live is not growing a community, doing a podcast in our situation is not going to grow a community. It's going to grow listeners, but a community is people who are engaged, people who are going, hey, we're going to go live over here, come chat with us. And they actually chat with us, you know, mm -hmm. for those people who are like, uh, who do their own personal brands 
and they're doing the streaming and they're doing uh, Patreon and stuff like that, you have people who follow you where you go. So the, the lesson that I definitely, I got out of it was be more personal because that will last longer than probably your expertise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's like, which makes sense. It's like some of these concepts are just trends, right? And, and any trend is bound to go out of style and something else is going to take its place, you know? So, so that, that definitely, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. I, I caught on to the personality piece, especially, or not the personality piece, but the gaming part of it, because you're right. It's like, there was a time where I think Fortnite had the most active players, you know, in the world. And right. now, I mean, I'm sure it's popular, but like, I remember it more. And I think what drove the popularity there was like, I remember a lot of the young kids doing like the dances and it was like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, that's a Fortnite dance. It was like, oh, I didn't even know, you know, like that. But one thing drove the other, but you're right now. It's like, who who do you know who's really on? Like, I'm, I'm sure there are like some rock solid people who are always going to rock with it. But right. even even the gaming companies recognize this because from time to time, they'll release newer games. So like, I remember same thing happened with Call of Duty from, you know, same things like Call of Duty. And then they just keep releasing new games where mm-hmm. if you were really, really tied in with the first one, then whatever, like the new year is, yeah, it's, it's over with that. So interesting. I like it. <laughs>